Hey everyone, to everyone that watches my videos, listens to me talk, listens to me talk about my faith, listens to me talk about things that are going on in my life, um, this is why I entitled the video the way I did. Um, because this is, this is for the people that actually take the time to watch the videos. With the recent move and the recent changes on YouTube, uh, my video viewing has slowed down. Um, that's not speaking bad about, uh, my move or anything. That's just because my mind is so scattered. I've been behind uh, on keeping up with everybody's videos, um, making videos myself. My Videos to God series is gonna come back. I'm trying to think about way too reinvented um, so it, it will come back I promise you on that one um, we go through life thinking we have everything we want need and hope for. Well, this time, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Until you have Jesus Christ in your life, and you accept him as your Lord and Savior, Your life isn't going to be as joyful as you want it to be. Ever since my move here, uh, I haven't really had a depressive moment. Um, there might be days where I'm a little slow or a little tired, but that has nothing to do with the way I feel. Um, I also just finished reading Own It. And the book version of Grace Unplugged. After reading those two books, I'm finding it hard to get into different books again. Um, books that may have a little language in them, but not too bad. Um, but I'm finding it hard to stay in to those books. But more importantly, I've been just distracted in general. That's why I haven't made videos, because my mind has been so on other things that my desire to make videos isn't what it used to be. Um, with the changes in YouTube uh, that 
took place uh, the 22nd of September. Um, you can no longer do video responses. The percentage was too low for YouTube to continue to allow video responses under people's videos. They they're working on a new way of doing it, um, but I I would have to say the workaround if you still want to do a video response with for somebody, um, you put like re uh, in the name of the video, um, R E, and then the name of the video. Um, It's kind of, I'm kind of glad that they've stopped that because then people are being made fun of for trying to do a video response for someone. But at the same time, I feel like Google slash YouTube is giving bullies the power. Um, and speaking of bullies and stuff like that, um, it's all across the internet. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's on, I'm pretty sure it's on Vine. You can find bullying anywhere. Bullying is an epidemic. Bullying is, is something that's not cool. Now, at the beginning of the video, I told you that if you don't believe in Jesus Christ and you don't accept him as your Lord and Savior, then your life won't be as good. And in my opinion, that's a true statement. Now, to those that watch this video and go, Oh, you're pretty bold, and I'll probably get comments and whatnot. But think of it this way. January 18th, 1983 was the year I was born. Almost 31 years ago. Thirty-one years ago, almost, I wouldn't be here. Now, I'm not trying to be doom and gloom here. I'm trying to make a point. If your life is, is full of stress, and your life is so out of control, like you feel like it's a mess. Pray to God. And he'll hear, he'll hear you. Say, God, please forgive me of my sins. I repent of my sins. I know that Jesus died on the cross for me. I know that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And I know, God, you brought your Son to die for my sins. I believe in you. I trust in you. I put all things in you. And I ask for your forgiveness. And I repent of everything that I've done. I know these things to be true because they're deep in my heart. 
I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if, if you feel like I'm trying to bully you or pressure you into um, Christ, you know, being a Christian, I'm not. But I go on Facebook every single day and I see the, the trouble going on with my friends and you you see stories or you you see things that um, people post and you want to help them but you don't know how like, I have a family that I constantly pray for because I don't know how else to help them. Um, life is too short to hold grudges and life is too short not to forgive. Now, people say you can forgive, but you can't forget. I'm learning the forget part. It's a long road to go. But in the same token, you might forget. But does that mean you have to talk to that person? Not necessarily, but you could at least pray for them. Our life is, is on this earth is is timed. Whether you believe that or not, whether you're atheist, whether you believe in Jesus Christ, our time is on this earth has its limits. Nobody is immortal. Nobody on this earth currently is like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ forgave everybody of their sins. Jesus says to put down all your treasures and your possessions and, and go follow him. Sometime last week, I posted before I went to sleep that I would give up Facebook if need be to focus more on my life with Jesus, my life with God. I would do it. However, that's how I reach people that I either A, don't have their number, or B, they don't feel comfortable other than Facebook or Twitter. And that's fine, that's why I keep those. We have but one life, 
one life to live. And that's not from a cheesy soap opera. Yes, it's the title of one. Just like all my children, days of our lives. But those titles, those statements are true. You know, it's kind of cheesy and and I kind of made a joke, ha ha, about soap operas. I used to watch soap operas. Some of my friends on Facebook know I watched soap operas. But life is like living a scripted soap opera. But except if you try and make your life about you, it doesn't go the way you want it to go. Unless you give everything up to Jesus Christ, everything up to God. Now, many friends on my Facebook, Twitter, they might watch this and go, what is this guy talking about? God gave me breath on January 18th, 1983. Now, you could chalk that up to science and say a group of doctors with machines brought you back to life. You could say that. But the truth is, and I know this to be true, is I was given life for a purpose. And that purpose was not for myself, was not for you, it was not for anyone, but to glorify God and to glorify Jesus and to glorify everything that God has done. It wasn't to save anyone. It wasn't really to to inspire, meant to inspire anyone. Sure, I know I do. But if you idolize something, like if I idolized, oh, I don't know, Lindsay Fonsetka from Nikita. Um, yes, she's a dear friend, but if if I idolized her, like put her above everything else, A, that would be creepy. B, that would be idol putting her above God, putting her above everything else. To those that may watch this and to those that may not believe the way I do, that's fine. Um, I'll continue to to pray for you. Um, my family knows how I feel. My family knows how I live my life.
Now, to make things a little less serious, um, whenever you need something, whenever you want something, I want somebody to listen to you. People know I'm here for them. But God is here for you too. This brings me to my YouTubers, if you watch this, or the people that I watch on YouTube. I'm gonna give this to you if you watch it. Good. If you watch it at this point, bravo. Um, sorry, I haven't watched your videos lately. My apologies. Um, my life has just been different. Um, I use, I'm changing the subject again, I use electronics to reach people. I use my iPad, my Mac, my MacBook, my iPhone. But if God said, Donnie, you need to do away with all those things, I would do it. Did I mean for this to be almost a 22 minute video or over 22 minute video? No. But I'm speaking without a topic in general. I'm speaking in general. How do you value life? What do you value most? You know, I've lost friends over the last few years. Do you value friendship? Sure, but when I make friends with someone, they are always in my heart. So with that said, realize what you have, realize who you have. And to everyone that watches my videos, thank you for watching. And um, thank you for taking the 24 minutes to watch. Or 25 minutes to watch, depending on when I shut up. Um, but all kidding aside, just be thankful for what you have. And uh, hope to talk again soon. Bye, everyone.